your main form of interacting with your sheet sets is through the sheet set manager. And that's this palette here that we've loaded. And that's a key thing to remember. It's a palette. So it has all the properties of a regular palette inside of AutoCAD. You can close it by clicking on the X. You can press Control and 4 at the same time to open it up or to close it. You can type in the word sheet set. If you type in sheet set hide, that will hide it. But again, Control 4 is probably the easiest form of opening it up. You can also type in SSM for Sheet Set Manager. So it's a palette. So I can click on it here and hold, and I can drag it all around. I can put it up high, low, you know, to the right or to the left. It can dock if you'd like it to. You can click, hold, and drag it out again. I can collapse it. I can auto hide, or I can make different changes to the properties. Move it, change the size, close it, anchor it left or right, auto hide, etc. If I right click on this bar, I get to the a bit of information as well. Now, the sheet set manager itself is where you'll see all of your different sheet lists. And we have three different tabs here, and I've mentioned them before. We have the sheet list, which lists your sheets, your subsets, etc. This is the sheet view. I have all the different views that I have saved for this project. And in my scroll bar here, I can go up and down on it. And different model views. This one doesn't really have any model views set up for it yet. But that's where you would go to do it. This is a refresh button. So if someone else has a sheet set open up, and if they've updated it, it should automatically update for you. So if they change like a drawing number, or they've added a sheet, they should automatically add to it for you. Now let's look at a couple of the different icons that are on here. You can see here, I have some of these files open, like the cover. If I double click on the file name here in the sheet list, it will open up that file. And this is it right here. Now you see that little lock? It's a little yellow lock right there. That means the file is locked for editing because somebody has it open. Well, currently I have it open right now. That's the same with these other sheets here. Both of these are numbered sheet six, and we're missing a sheet number three, so obviously we have a bit of an issue. We'll have to worry about that and try to fix it later on. But that's what this does. Now if you need to get to information about your sheet set, a subset, or a sheet itself, just select it and right click. You can open it. You can open it read only. You can create a new sheet. You can import the layout as a sheet which is really cool. Uh, rename or renumber. You can remove the sheet, and etc. You can get to all of these things. So in sheet sets, remember, right click, select, then right click. <laughs> there, I'm sure you have it by now. Some of these other buttons up here I want to talk about briefly. A lot of them will do the same sort of things you can get to when you right click. This button here will export your files to a DWFX. That's the same as printing it to a DWFX. So if I pick a file, I click this button, it asks me where I want to save it, and it will save that drawing as a DWFX file. Now if you don't want a DWFX, then you need to go about it a different way. You'll need to right click and publish to a DWF. But this is just a quick button for you to be able to use and go to a DWFX file very quickly. Now over here is your publish button. So you can publish everything right here as well. You click publish, it brings this list up. It's the same thing as selecting, right clicking and hitting the publish button. This right here will give you your sheet selections, some of them anyway. You can create a new one. I'll close out of there. I can go to manage so that I can manage some of these. And this is just to rename or delete them. And I'll be honest with you, these buttons up here, I typically never use. I'll just go in and right click and get to everything I need to right here. Now, one of the most important things that you're going to use is this very top button here on the left. Now, it's most important because that's how you get started. So you click this little arrow. So you can see a list here of the sheet sets that you have open. Right now, I only have this one. And the check mark means that's the one that is current. Now I can go to recently opened sheet sets right here. I just click it, 
Let me find one, I'll click on the example list, and you'll see right here. This is a short sheet set, just to give you an example, as a bit of a preview to the different drawings. It's very simple. Now if I come up here, click on the arrow, you can see I have quick access to both of these. I have them both opened right now, and if I want to get to one, I just click on it, and that brings it right here. Now I can open up several different ones, and here's another sheet set that just has subsets in here, just as an example of how to set some stuff up. There's nothing really in it. So I have these three right here, and I can get to them with just a few quick clicks. So that's nice. Now I can make a new sheet set, and we'll talk more later on on how to create a new sheet set, but that's how you get to it. Click on the new button, and then follow your instructions. So I can also open a sheet set. Click open, browse to a folder that has a DST file in it, and then just open it up. Now I have this one open already, so I won't open it. But that's how you get started, it's right here. You can see which ones you have open and go to them. You can get a list of recently opened sheet sets but aren't currently opened, or maybe they are. Um, you can get to new sheet sets, create a new one, or you can open an existing one. So that's it in the sheet set manager. That's typically every button here and how to get to everything and how to use it. We'll talk more about all the different things that are available to you in this right click pop up and, and how to use them. Uh, we'll slowly go through them one by one throughout these videos. But just keep in mind, this is a palette. So you can move it around like a palette. You can stretch it, put it on a different spot on your screen. Or if you have multiple monitors, you can move it over to the other monitor. You can auto hide it so that it's out of your way because you're not going to need to get to your sheet set manager all the time while you're drawing and so you want some more drawing space and that's fine to do nothing wrong with that so just keep those things in mind that the sheet set manager itself is really just another palette